Hi, Mark with GoldenTicker.com on Wednesday, March the 13th, 2013 with the Gold Report. This is the GLD, the Gold Exchange Traded Fund. And uh, this is a good uh, uh, indicator for the price of gold. And uh, we are now fighting a battle here at this red line. This is the 21-day moving average. And this is a natural place where prices would consolidate. And so far, we're kind of waffling around this area. Poked a little bit above it this morning and came back down, challenging some lows here. Uh, support here may come in at this gray line, the 10-day moving average. This is a short-term support line here. Um, it did provide overhead resistance here for several weeks uh, as we were moving down, uh, uh, pulling back off of this high here. So uh, I expect a little bit of a challenge here uh, and then possibly regroup and make an assault here at this key 50-day moving average, this blue line here. So we're down below all the key moving averages. We've got a lot of work to do to the upside, but as long as we do not take out 150.84, 150.84 on the GLD, uh, we are still in rally mode. And we have great signs of this being a bottom in that uh, we made a low here uh, back on February 20th, and then about four days later, we had a big update here on good volume, real strong volume here, uh, which uh, set the rally, uh, confirmed the rally here. And now we've pulled back, um, had a little bit of heavy volume here, uh, but mostly in light volume, consolidated down here uh, in just about average to light volume, and now had a gap up here the other day up to the 21 day and now consolidating around it. So uh, let's see if we can regroup and if we uh, punch above 154.69, uh, the next stop uh, challenge would be up here at the 50 day moving average. Looking at some of the indicators, they're kind of secondary indicators. Uh, they kind of give you a, a, another idea on the health of the market. We see the MACD, the black line crossing the red, good sign there. Uh, we have the stochastics here solidly moving higher, taking out this previous peak. Uh, we have this green line on balance volume moving higher too, and we have the relative strength index RSI uh, moving up also. So all uh, all indicators looking good on the GLD. And when we look at a long-term uh, gold price here, this is the monthly. Um, you can see that uh, uh, we hit a high of 120. Uh, I'm sorry, 1923.70, dollars and seventy cents back here in the summer of 2011. We've been in a correction ever since. Uh, kind of a double bottom, maybe triple bottom if you look at it that way, uh, uh, being formed right now. Got down as low as 1 at 1554.30. Um, <coughs> previous low here was last year, about this time, at uh, 1526.70. Uh, so uh, dancing along these lows here, certainly a breach of 1526 would not be a good sign. But uh, uh, so far, uh, you know, holding, uh, just kind of doing some sideways waffling. Corrections uh, have been uh, lasting. Uh, this one's about 19 months here. Uh, the previous correction here was 19 months before breaking out and moving uh, substantially higher out of the $1,000 range here. Uh, this one was a 17-month correction, a cup. Um, uh, 22.5 percent correction. This one was a steep 34 percent correction. So far, we've been off as much as 20 and a half percent here. So a pretty normal correction. Uh, Time-wise, uh, should be looking to break out of this zone uh, to the upside if this trend is continuing, which I believe it is. I believe we're just uh, consolidating here after a big move, and that we will be moving higher. Um, you can see the trend uh, with the 40-month moving average uh, coming up at about a 45-degree angle. So this is a solid uptrend. A trend in motion tends to stay in motion, and your overall trends are very visible here on the uh, monthly charts here. Uh, we've been in a bull market ever since 2000-2001. Uh, uh, commodity cycles usually last about 17 years. I'm saying that we have probably another five or six years of a bull market uh, in uh, the commodities and the gold. So that's my opinion. Thanks for listening.